What up though, it's Philip J. Today I got a quick for you guys. I'm gonna show you how to fix any issues with your laptop relating to the volume keys. Now, on my laptop before, my volume buttons worked normally fine, but recently they haven't been able to work. So right here, there's the volume down button, there's the volume up button. So before when I would press it, the volume would go up. When I would press this one, the volume would go down. I did notice once you go in the settings and you are able to physically change the volume to move the speaker, but you have to use your mouse. However, the same doesn't work with the buttons. And then also the mute button here, when I would press that, it opens up a new page, which is definitely not what I want. So after further investigating the problem, I also found out none of these other buttons work. So right here, this button is for brightness. So when I press it, some kind of other page pops up. When I press the other one, just more pages pop up. So it's kind of just weird stuff that happens. So after further investigating, I noticed that each of those buttons is the top row. All of those are on the F1 to F12 keys. Those are the function keys and this button right here controls them. Now, usually if you want to press any of those F keys, you would press the function button and then press that. But right now I noticed it's reverse. You have to press the function key to get the volume to work. So once if I press the function key, like right now, and then press the volume key, there we go. I'm actually able to see the volume move up and down on the screen. And then you have it here in mute. The same would also work for the brightness. So screen getting brighter, screen getting dark. Now, I don't want to constantly keep pressing this function key every single time I want to change the volume. That's just inconvenient for me. So the way you have to do it, you need to go to bio settings and reset an option. So let's exit out of here. The start menu, you're gonna type in settings. So you're gonna open up the settings app. And then you're gonna go update and security. Actually, you're gonna go into recovery and then find advanced startup, and then you're gonna hit restart now. There's other ways of doing this pressing the F2 key when rest restarting the laptop, pressing the F2 key, but I found this is a solution that works for everyone. And then once you get on this page, hit troubleshoot, advanced options, and then you're gonna to go to UEFI firmware. Now this is where the bio settings are. All right. So restart, change the UEFI firmware settings. Correct, that's what you want. Okay, and right here, this is the BIOS or the UEFI. This is a Lenovo laptop, you have some information. Now the way to move it is these up and down keys and left and right. So right now, I'll show you guys. So right here I'm on information. I'm gonna go right to configuration. Now when the configuration, you're gonna press the down key and then you're gonna go in the options, go under hot key mode. And then right now it's disabled. You wanna enable that. This will actually reverse the functionality of this function key. So now you'll be able to directly press the volume buttons. And then just go all the way to the right to exit. Exit saving changes, correct? Yes. And now let's try this button, the volume buttons. Volume up, volume down, volume up, all the way. Mute, that works great. You have the brightness, dim it. So then you don't need to press the function key. And that's how you can reverse the function key. All right, guys, if you like this video, make sure you give it a like and subscribe. Peace.